So the radar was something that we had been looking at for a couple of years. We were one of the first companies in the UK to entertain it. We had the first trial plan. Um, and one of the things that really appealed to us was the footprint. So we could do this on a really small footprint in comparison to a conventional treatment process. But the cost was also important. So as we look for the best value for money for our customers, the radar really, really appealed to us. So we're confident that the long-term cost of running this will be much cheaper than the the old process that we had and probably any other process that we may have chosen. I have a long history in wastewater treatment and uh, I actually was introduced to the Nareda process about 17 years ago. It's been fascinating over those years to see it come into the UK industry and retrofit some of the plants I sold 20 years ago and literally double the capacity of them. So we looked at other options, so we looked at what we had here. Was there anything else in the market that would fit and suit this site? And actually, to be honest with you, that was very difficult. We also looked at opportunities of could we move the site? To be honest with you, that was extortion expensive given land prices and where we are. So we looked at them, but this just, again absolutely pointed us to Nareda being the best solution for this site. So Kendall's a site which is quite unusual. It serves about 60,000 population and it's quite a tight footprint for a site of this size. Key challenges uh, at Kendall were actually the uh, commissioning of the plant where we had to keep a, a large portion of the old plant operating. We also had a brand new environmental permit coming in online which actually tightened our ammonia limit. The uniqueness of the site is, is possibly the fact that it's surrounded by the river on three sides. The, this site also flooded. So a lot of the engineering works have been uh, designed with a thousand year flood in mind. So blowers uh, and equipment are lifted off the ground so that if, if ever a flood occurs again, uh, it wouldn't stop the plant. We also have residents very close by, so literally bordering onto our fence here, our houses, because we have in the past had odour issues here. And we dealt with that and, and installed some odour control, but to honestly, we, that odour control is now used minimally because our new treatment process works, works well. The key long-term benefits are the lower energy usage, the lower carbon footprint associated with it. Obviously we are operating this site now a lot more efficiently and effectively than we were, so protecting that environment for our customers is something that they really value, and that's been a big, a big win for us. It's the reliability of being able to meet the tight phosphorus and ammonia consents. The pea recovery is something that really excites us, something we're really starting to look and push at because uh, environmentally, P is a, is a big focus for our regulators, our customers, and obviously to protect the environment. The other thing that it does for us is around collaboration and systems thinking. So we're really driving as a business our systems thinking approach, again, for the better value of our customers. What having a fleet in a raid has allowed us to do is review how we operate these things, how we monitor these things, and actually has allowed us to introduce some central control and operation, which is really important for us about efficiency, consistency, and sharing best practice. Because this is a technology that we feel has got real potential moving forward. As we monitor the performance of the plant, we're hoping to be able to optimize it to use even less energy and uh, meet even tighter consents. United Utilities have, have been fantastic in being the, the, one of the first major adopters of the uh, Nareda technology. As with anything new, there's been some challenges. Working in the UK, I think, was one of the big challenges for Royal Has Game to work how we expect to work. Um, but again, we've worked really hard, sometimes interestingly, but really hard to get that right. So it's been really positive and we want to continue that in the future. That, that collaboration is key.